Hey guys, Astro Manny here. How's it going? We're back here for another video. You know how it is, daily videos. Here we are hovering in the Pisces above our 890 jump. We're going to do some bunkers today and we're going to have this a dedicated bunker farm video. It's going to be about making money at max rep. That's what today is about. Yes, the 890 is here, but it is not about the 890. We're going to be driving this beautiful blue Pisces C8R, the rescue Pisces, through the bunkers because they're going to be all friendly bunkers. And we're going to do a rotation of the max level bunker uh, guard site missions. And I'll show you what this is about. I do want to note that this is going to be a non-loot run. I am going to be showing how much money you can make doing these max level bunkers without collecting loot. I don't tend to collect that much loot anyway since I'm already max on having armors and weapons and I don't need any more. I'm pretty good. So if you need loot, go ahead and loot. If we see red boxes, we will check the red boxes because you know who knows there might be a railgun or whatever. So we will look at red boxes, but we're not going to go out of our way to go loot boxes and armor and things like that. So on that note, let's see how much money we can make in one rotation or an hour. We'll see. I don't know exactly what we're going to do for this video, but we're just going to try it out and test how much money we can make doing bunkers fast and efficiently on max rep. Let's talk about that real quick, max rep, okay? So max rep, I'm going to show you here on my Crusader security. Now yours may be whatever planet you want it to be, whether it's Crusader or Hurston or Microtech or Art Corp, doesn't matter, but your max, your security has to be max at level 5. This will give you access to the highest paying bunker missions and mercenary missions for this grind, this money grind. Now let's go into Contracts Manager to show what this is like. So you're in the Mercenary tab, right? This is where we're going to be, okay? So um, here we have the different missions available to us. In Crusader, they have this big bang money maker for 120000 but this requires you to go to the Orison platforms and to three different buildings. It's really not time efficient, so we ignore this one. It's a fun mission. We'll cover it later on in the future with some friends and, and make a good showing of it. But for now, for this money grind, it's not worth it to do solo. And yes, that's, that's not what we're doing here. So what we're looking for is these guard site against hostiles missions. Um, the most... We're going to go ahead and accept this one. This is the guard site against uh, serious hostiles. I think you have to be level 4 to get this one available to you. Now, check out here. I have guard site against dangerous hostiles already accepted. I already grabbed it because these missions tend to be kind of wonky and not, are not necessarily wanting me to do these. It's The game's been rough. Um, I'm still trying to pump out good content even though the game and the servers have been rough. As you can see, that mission I just hit except for hasn't even popped in. So that's this discouraging. There it is. Okay, so not too bad. We're going to untrack that one. And so this is the highest one, 90K for guarding a site against dangerous hostiles. So you want this one at max rank. This is the most money one. So it's not going to populate immediately after you complete it. So that's why you accept the other missions as well. So this is the second uh, highest level one, the 75k dangerous uh, guard site against serious hostiles. So that is what we're going to be doing after we complete the dangerous hostiles one. And then there's also a 60k one, which hopefully that pops up too. Hey look, speaking of that, it's right there. So now we have all three of the missions accepted. Boom, boom, boom. And now we can get our farm going. And this is the rotation. You want to rotate between dangerous hostiles, serious hostiles, and against hostiles. You do that rotation, that's your biggest money, and hopefully by the time you're done with the third one, the one, the very first one you did is back and regenerated. If not, then doing a provide backup or something in between might be a good alternative, but really this is the rotation. You want to do guard side against dangerous hostiles, against serious hostiles, and then against hostiles. 90k, 75k, 60k. Always make sure you have your call to arms because you're going to be killing quite a few people. You're going to make some good money just from calls to arms. So let's go get going. Hopefully we um, have a good time and uh, the first one is on selling. So let's take off from our beautiful 890 here. Goodbye 890. I shall be back. I will return. We left it on the planet this time. Let's see how that goes. All right. So 
we are on Daybar currently, which means we have to go through Crusader to get the cell in. No biggie. We know how to do that, right? We've shown that off plenty of times. You set, you go into your map marker, you go to cell in, you click on it, you set route. It's going to make you go to OM6 of Orson or, or, or Crusader, whichever OM it wants you to go to, to slingshot you around. And it's that easy, no problem. We'll be on sell in no time. So, I'm going to be real with you guys. I've tried to do this video quite a few times, and it's just been rough. The servers have not been nice to me for doing bunker missions. After I complete this bunker mission video, if it works, probably won't do bunker mission videos for a while because, man, I just want to be in space. I'm sick and tired of being on the ground and uh, the ground killing me or the server breaking or things not loading or just dumb stuff. So hopefully this works out. I'm still pumping out content no matter what. Um, whether it's just gameplay or a how-to or whatever the situation is, there's always going to be something every day. Speaking of that, if you're enjoying seeing videos every single day, leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Are you guys enjoying the everyday videos? I uh, appreciate the support. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for alerts to let you know when a new video is dropped. But you know they drop every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every single day there's a video. Thanks for the support, guys. Let's get back into the video and focus on killing things once we get there. Um, but yeah, bunkers. This game, it's been rough. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start the timer. I didn't actually start a timer. But again, it doesn't really matter. I'm not, this is not a how much money you make per hour video. This is a how much money you make in a rotation or I'm doing bunkers quickly. Um, we'll see how it goes. Maybe it'll be a full hour. I don't know. I can't guarantee any of that because the servers just, the servers tell me what I can do. <laughs> That's all I gotta say is the servers tell me how to play the game. I don't get the choice on how to play the game. The servers decide for me. So here we are coming up to our first outpost here on Selen. Now, I have all three missions accepted. Hopefully that makes, they, they all work perfectly fine. Uh, I don't usually accept all the missions at the same time, but since I'm making a video and sometimes the missions disappear and it's been just very inconsistent for me lately. I just went ahead and I picked them all up. And uh, we're coming here to our first stop. So we're going to get a nice, beautiful view of the Pisces coming down. The great thing about running the Pisces, not only does it have a medical bed, so if you take an injury, you can not fix yourself, but it's so small, it just fits right up at the front door. And it's beautiful, it's quick, it moves, it's got a cute a quantum drive, it's got everything you need. You park it right there. We are here at the site. Let's talk real quick about the kit. Of course, you need heavy armor, so any heavy armor is fine. Obviously, you don't need the heavy armor, but when you're doing ground combat and you know you're going to be doing quite a bit of ground combat, heavy armor is kind of important so that you can survive any extra hits that you might not have. So, uh, on that note, let's talk about what I'm currently using. I'm just using one assault rifle on I me. Mean, that's all I'm bringing. This is one gun because just in case I find guns in the loot boxes that I want to hold on to, I can pick them up. Again, don't doesn't matter if it happens or not, but just in case I find other guns, I have space available to hold them and put them on my back. I'm using the Karna rifle. It is an energy assault rifle with the silencer and the times four scope that comes on all the P4s that come that drop from the enemies. This is my favorite weapon in the game currently. It's just fun to use, it's reliable, it reloads correctly even when the server's a bit slow. So this is what I run, Karna Rifle, Silencer, Times 4 Scope. Now, as you can see, there's no hostiles when you first join into the bunker. You gotta wait 60 seconds for the first wave to spawn, and this is the dangerous hostiles one, so there are four waves. Now, in between waves, you can go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little thing so I'm going to get 100% HP, who knows what could happen. Uh, in between waves, you have 60 seconds in between each wave. Take that time to do some looting. Therefore, 
you're efficiently doing the mission and efficiently looting at the same time. So I'm going to post up with five seconds left to go. I'm going to be posting up at an elevator to kill people as soon as they spawn in to be efficient. So here we are posting up at this elevator, hoping that they pop in here. If they don't, we'll move on to the next elevator. So they will spawn in these elevators. This is where the waves spawn. And again, there's about six elevators, maybe seven elevators in, in each bunker. And um, that's where the enemies will spawn. And so we got a... Oh, what the heck? That was a late spawn in from him. Okay, that's fine. He's down. So they spawn in those elevators. So camping the elevators in the beginning is a good way to get the job done quickly. And if it... He's looking at me and everything. That was scary. Didn't even notice him. Wow. All right. Let's focus on getting these targets done, and then we'll talk more about the bunkers in between. But I'm going to drop down here to the lower end, look for my enemies. Always stay along the wall. See, there's a red box. So I see the red box. I will pick up the red box. No enemies. Where are they hiding? Those first two were like, hey, we're here. two hostiles remaining. It seems kind of laggy. Um, the server's doing its best, I would say. Found them. Where? I have no idea where the enemy is right now. We're gonna, we're gonna just keep our head on a swivel. Check the server room. Hopefully we find them. Where did they spawn in at? Sir, have you seen any enemies? Alright, there's only one remaining. So when there's one remaining out of the six, usually that guy gets a marker. He did not get a marker currently, but we found him. Oh, he did at that last second, you see? When the wave is with six people, when it comes down to the final guy in the wave, he usually gets a marker over his head. And sometimes it can take a little bit to, for it to pop up, but he usually gets a marker over his head. Now we'll go back down to go loot that red box that we've seen. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more again. There's elevators where the enemies spawn. And if the server's running well, they will spawn correctly. If the server's not running well, it could be questionable. We found ourselves an S7-1 rifle. That is one of the best guns in the game, in my opinion. So we will definitely pick that up so beautiful um, there are two different bunker setups there are the bunkers that you start up high and there's a down low there's a there's two floors upper floor upper floor lower floor then there's the bunkers that are basically the same exact thing but just the opposite you start low and you go up this is the, uh, the first one I mentioned you start high and you go low I don't know which one I really prefer they each have their benefits and each have their annoyances but uh, here we are camping the elevator hoping that it opens and we don't know how long it's going to take for it to open last time it kind of lagged a little bit and it took a while for the enemies to spawn which can be very dangerous because we would like them to spawn right when the uh, 8 out of 8 pops up so that way we are alert on what is going on there's an enemy there, we'll take him out, boom. As you can see, the second wave on Dangerous Hostiles is indeed eight enemies spawning. The rest of the waves, wave two, three, and four, will all be eight enemies spawning. There's also, it's also Dangerous Hostiles, which means there are no light armor guys. It's all heavy armor dudes. Oh, hello buddy. How you doing, sir? 
All right, a little bit of reload, a little bit of kill in action there. Nice. We liking it, we liking it. So, oh, and another guy. He's the heavy armor guy, okay? So, there's no light armor guys is what I mean to say. There's medium armor guys and heavy armor guys. And as you can see, when there are two enemies left on the eight people on the eight wave mission, on the eight wave, eight person waves, when there are two enemies left, oh, 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 we might die here. Whew. He just teleported, okay? So again, <laughs> low server FPS, things like that can happen. It can be scary. There's the desync. Gotta be careful. That was a little dangerous of us to come up at him like that. But, you know, we got it done. Mission accomplished. Anyways, uh, when there's eight people on the wave, the last two enemies will have a marker over their head to help you find them. So if there's six enemies, only the final guy gets a marker. If there's eight enemies, the final two get a marker. And that helps you accomplish the mission faster. And helps a lot. Now, I'm pretty sure we've looked at most of the, the place on um, looking for red boxes. And we haven't really found any but that one. But the one did have an S71 rifle. And like I said, that's one of the best weapons in the game. If I'm not using this gun, I'm either using the S71 rifle or a Demico. So that 71 is in my top three. Um, so I'm pretty excited to have that drop. And really, I already call this a win with that with that weapon being dropped. We're going to post up at the elevator again, hoping to see if enemies spawn this elevator. I always start with this elevator because it's kind of, it's just, in my opinion, the first elevator of the place, you know? So post up at the first elevator. That makes sense, right? So we got all of them with one clip. That was amazing. And then I consider this guy over here to be like the second elevator. That makes sense. You know, in a rotation. And so we check this elevator. Doesn't seem to be anybody coming out of that elevator. And that's the top floor for the upper bunkers. Now, there is the elevator that is kind of in between the floors. Right here. As you saw last time a few enemies popped out. And there's one there. Okay. Okay, he won't get shot. That was a little bit of bad aim, plus a little bit of he wasn't getting shot. Um, so this is the other elevator that's kind of in between floors. And then there is, I think, only two on this bottom floor on this setup. So we're going to go ahead and finish him out. And we got target markers, as you can see. And so we're going to be a little bit safe here. For some, see, you see how some of my bullets didn't even register? Okay, he's down, and now we'll go and we'll grab the last guy. Play it a little bit more safe and get a, a long range tactic on this one. See, some of the bullets just aren't registering, but that's fine. We're getting the job done. Um, how much ammo do we have actually? Oh. We'll see if I could even complete this mission with the ammo that we have. I'm sure I'll be fine. I could always pick up some of theirs. And that might actually be helpful to pick up some of theirs uh, to show off. In between, in between, in between my 60 second waves, I can go ahead and make sure I start stocking up on P. 4 ammo, so if I have to swap to P4 at the end of this, I have it. Go ahead and loot him up. I don't know if we have time to. I'm going to do it anyways. We don't want to double click because we're not equipping it. Anyways, we're going to get to our elevator that we like to... Uh... Oh, somebody's uh, stolen my uh, my ship. Beautiful. <laughs> That's fine. I don't know how we did it. an armistice zone. Hey, whatever. It's okay, we don't care about it. <laughs> Lost that ship so many times. Alright, elevator. This one doesn't seem like it's gonna open. Oh well. So we're gonna check over here. Nothing over here either. 
Maybe the elevator opened up late? Nope. At least not that I know of. So it seems like there's a big giant war happening down below. Nobody coming out of this elevator either. That's concerning. So are they all down low? All eight of the enemies down low? Possible. Oh my god, that heavy armor guy took a beating. Holy cow. Flip around like this. Try to get better sights. There's a guy there. Any more currently visible? Hello, sir. I don't appreciate you shooting at me and I don't see you. You should announce yourself. Those guys are shotgun guys, the heavy arm ammo guys are shotgun guys, so they're actually less scary than some of the other guys because they can't really snipe you. So that's one of the great things about this dangerous hostile one. Target will come around here. And final target will come around here. And a little bit risk a little bit risky because of that. Wow. <laughs> Talk about reaction time though, huh? Well there you go, there is 90k in the bank. Again, it was a wave mission, so it took a little bit more time. But that's the longest one, okay? Way mission complete, money in the bank, 90k in the bank. It took about 15 minutes, but still, nonetheless, the job is done. And, uh, yeah. Moving on. Contract. Next mission. Guard against serious hostiles. This one is uh, on selling, so that's nice. We don't have to go jumping across moons or anything. We just go to the next location. <sighs> There's wreckage here. All right, we'll go underneath. I don't recommend going underneath wreckage. It can be deadly, so be aware of that. But that seems stable enough for me to trust it. <laughs> Famous last words. Take off complete. I do, I, guys. I want to say something. So, um, one of the things I do here, right, is I make unedited videos, and I prefer to have them unedited. Great. Like when I watch videos, I like to watch unedited videos because it shows the grind and it shows like a hundred percent what the person does right that's why I prefer to do it also let me tell you another reason that is great about unedited videos it means I can't make this video and have something crazy happen and it ruins the video or I make a mistake and it ruins the efficiency I have to do this all in one take I show you guys this all in one take which can be hard for both me and you as a, as a viewer, like it could be like, oh, well, there's lots of downtime, but that's when we get to talk. Also, you know, if things do go wrong, I have to redo the whole video. And a lot of the times it's Star Citizen that goes wrong. You know, the, the game crashes with 30K, uh, the enemy stops spawning, the mission doesn't actually work. There's lots of things that can happen. So. Uh, I just wanted to throw that in there to show how, how dedicated I am to get a grinding video out on bunkers on how to make money. Because 
doing it straight in one go is kind of hard. You can easily go like, okay, well, I'm going to do a 90k mission, and then I'll come back and do another 90k mission later on or something, you know, if you split it up. But if you're trying to grind it, grind it, it can be difficult at times because the game just doesn't like you <laughs> sometimes. Um, sometimes you can get lucky and, and grind for a long time. But especially when you're doing bunker missions, it's a lot easier for a bunker mission to mess up than a uh, bounty space mission, you know? It's a lot easier for an enemy to spawn in a wall or for them to secretly surprise you and, and knock you down and kill you in a mission like this than it is in flying around in your spaceship and going pew pew. So here we are landed on the, at another bunker. This is the serious hostile one. This is 75k if we complete this one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw some more ammo on. Just like that. So usually I have a lot of ammo. Usually I have like 20 clips on me. But I've been doing this video a lot so I've actually been going through a lot of ammo. And uh, I didn't fully restock. That's on me. Um, there's a lot of things here like that's a two clip that needs to be taken care of that's a one clip that needs to be taken care of and make sure that if you do if the game glitches and gives you clips where there's only like one bullet in it that you take them off you don't want them there it's gonna get you killed so we pull into this site start the 60 second timer and hopefully all is well all is well always anyways so that's a five clipper. We might keep the five clip just because of how low on ammo we are. We have a little bit of the S71. Oh, there's another one clip on there too. Didn't I just take that one off? That's unfortunate. Okay, so we definitely have enough ammo to clear this bunker. It's about the next bunker and the bunkers after that that we're going to be worried about. So we got 19 seconds on this bunker, we're going to do, oh, here's a red box here, see, checking the red box spots, that one's not even an actual real red box. So this bunker is a little bit, uh, this is the lower bunker, so that's cool, we got back to back the two different bunkers, I'll explain it as we go through. I'm going to start camping this here elevator for the first spawn. This is still elevator one for me, always the elevator on the right is usually elevator one for me, at least, you know. You do it your way. Everyone does it their way. This is the elevator I camp to start off. Doesn't seem to have opened. Oh, there we go. Boom. Hostile down. Okay. So then there's two more bunkers on the on the low end here. So there's an ally in that bunker. So he's not going to spawn, or in that elevator. So he's not going to spawn there. But you see that there's an elevator there, and there's an elevator there, across there. Okay, so those are your three bunkers on the bottom floor, and then you have your or your elevators on the bottom floor, and you have your elevators on the top floor. There's the server room, and then there's two elevators up there in the back. We're gonna check the server room. There seems to be an ally in the server room elevator, so they didn't spawn there. But there is one elevator there, so that means the rest of the enemies must be up here somewhere. And um, we're going to search for them. So this is a little bit risky. Running around like this. Okay, there's a guy down. Here's the other elevator. Okay. Boom. Another guy down. Bullets being fired. Lost an ally. Got him. Oh gosh. Oh, thankfully those three clips. I had three bullets left in that clip, in that magazine. But hey, we got the job done. Final guy has a target marker. We play it safe and shoot him from far. And he's down. So that's where the other, the final elevator, it spawns over there in that back corner. 
and that is the elevator locations for this bunker. Uh, honestly, now looking at it, I think I prefer the other bunker. It seems a bit safer. So looting this box, there's a grenade launcher, and uh, there's an executive custodian, there's a couple sniper rifles. Those are all nice toys to play with. I'm going to go ahead and pass up for, uh, on them for now. I might grab some on the way out, but for now I'm going to pass up on them. Uh, I'm going to look for more P4 ammo. Uh, maybe next wave we'll look for more P4 ammo. So, running down on the timer here. And yeah, you know, we're just chilling, having some fun. Not necessarily trying to do the super speed. We are trying to be efficient, but not break our backs efficient kind of thing. Okay, so here we go here. Nobody spawning in this elevator maybe? Oh yep, there we go. He's down. This gun does have different fire modes too by the way, so I'm using an automatic because I'm kind of in close range. But you can swap it to a burst fire and it also has a charge up mode too. Uh, I don't personally like charge up modes on uh, guns, they don't tend to be very accurate. So I don't really use up the charge, the charge mode very often, but I do sometimes use the burst fire for this gun for the fact that if I'm at range, I prefer to use the burst fire. Uh, as you can see there's the elevator and there's still an ally inside the elevator. The enemies do not spawn in elevators that there is an ally in. So we're going to sit here and wait for them to start pulling out. We're actually going to swap to burst mode so I can show that off a bit. So here we are in burst mode. Boom. Look at that. Nice little burst. He's down. It's really good when you're shooting them from range. Boom. Down. Boom. Down. Look at that. So I do do that with this gun, like I said, when I'm shooting from range from time to time. I don't always do it when I'm in close range or running around because if you, it can be hard to land shots close range from with burst. But if you take it easy and you just hit them from afar, you can definitely burst people down. He's on the move. Okay, that's not good. Okay. That was kind of annoying. All right. So final guy. Sometimes when there's a clear shot, you don't really have a clear shot. There's more down, and we're down to our final wave again. So again, this is the serious hostiles. This is the second highest level of bunkers, and it's three waves. And it goes six, six, and then eight people. So this final wave is eight people. Now, this can be stressful when you're doing it solo. It's much more fun, okay? I'll tell you this, guys. It is a lot more fun to run bunkers with friends. Uh, it is a lot more lucrative to run bunkers solo, but it's stressful and dangerous. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. The game can lag out. The game, the, the enemies can teleport. You could get one shot. If the game's working correctly, you can get shot and you won't die. You know, like you can get shot and you'll just take damage. But uh, sometimes you'll just get completely dropped out of nowhere. And that can be uh, frustrating. So here we are on the final wave, if it spawns. Uh, it's looking good so far, 8 out of 8. We're just going to sit here at this elevator, wait for it to open up. It has been a little delayed recently. So we're going we're gonna to wait for it. We're going to wait for it. going to wait for it. There it is. Heavy armor guy, he's down. Oh, speaking of those heavy armor guys, they actually don't always have shotguns. They have the, the the machine guns too, so you actually have to be really weary of those guys. Um, again, no enemies spawn in these lower elevators. That's kind of frustrating because I hate going upstairs. Oh, hello, late spawns, late spawns. That, that can be, see, see what I mean by frustrating doing this solo? We had some late spawners there. So 
that could have been a shot in the back for sure. So I, again, I think there's still a guy in that elevator, so we're not even going to worry about the elevator. And we're going to take the spot that we were in before, and uh, yeah, we're going to hopefully hit this guy from range. Boom! Got him. You see how well the burst fire does? This gun works amazing in burst fire mode, and the fact that it has the ability to swap between burst and automatic is amazing. It truly is amazing. This gun is so good. Uh, we're just going to be patient here because this is the final wave. We don't want to make a mistake on the final wave. I know there's got to be more guys over there, and then I know they're going to start funneling out from over there. So we're just going to wait because there's no security guards on the upper part. Uh, come on, guys. Come on. Come out for me. You're going to make me go get you? Don't make me wait too long. I will go get you. All right. I think they're going to make me go get him. I think they're going to make me go get him. Unfortunate. Watch. Oh, look at that. We found some. Ah, ah, ah. All right. Okay. Look around for one more. I like to stay safe until I have the target's markers. So if I kill one more guy, I get the target markers, and then I feel so much more safer. So we're going to do a walk around here around here. Nobody here. It looks like that we might have had some late spawners on the on the floor. There's a guy. Come on, game. Hello? Oh my goodness. He looked at me and everything. <laughs> Scared the living crap out of me. I didn't even see him. Come on, game work for me thank you <laughs> all right well there's another one down but so we're gonna go ahead and collect a few uh, p4 ammo because I know I'm gonna need them I know I'm gonna need them we're running low we're gonna go ahead and grab this guy's p4 All right, so that's another bunker done, um, and we're gonna go and check out our next one. That's another 15 minutes, but that was another 75k in the bank. You know what we didn't do? We didn't calculate how much money I had in the very beginning. <laughs> hey, guess what? I have it in the recording, so we will look at it through there, <laughs> and I will post it in the title or in the description, and. Uh, I mean, but we know how much money each mission was. It's just it's not... We don't know how much money we're making through each kill. So that was a oopsie on my fault. On my part. My bad. My bad. So I uh, don't have space for everything, so I'm going to put this away for now. To store that away. We're going to avoid using the P4. I'm going to use the S71 and hopefully we'll have enough ammo between our two guns that we have left over. Alright, so this is just a mercenary tab. It doesn't seem like the game is wanting to be nice and getting more mercenary missions, but thankfully we had three picked up. The last one here is on Daymar that we currently have available to us. Take off. Blast off, put away the landing gear, go full speed ahead, and landing get gear. as Rain. much air time as possible. Then we're gonna take a look at our location. There is Crusader and Daymar, so it is on Daymar, which is on the other side. Gotta flip around here, and swoop in here, OM2, and voila. So far so good. That does take about 30 minutes of what I did. So we're, we're talking realistically, you know, 
because it's waves, it probably takes about 10 to 15 minutes to clear oh each bunker. As you can see, I wasn't doing it super fast. I wasn't running around like a madman going around and killing everybody instantly. If you feel confident enough to do that and the FPS on the server is low enough for you to do that, then go ahead and do that. And you might make a little bit more money, but uh, being cautious and doing it the way I'm doing it is going to keep you alive. Remember, if you die, you fail the mission and you lose rep, or you have to sit there and wait for somebody to come get you, and you have to pay them to come get you. And then on top of that, you're wasting time being dead on the ground waiting for them to come get you, and that could be 20 minutes until they arrive. So weigh the odds, weigh the risks, what's more efficient, what's better, who knows. Leave it down in the comments below what you think. Running around like crazy is more efficient and uh, hopefully you don't go down or being a little bit more cautious to make sure that uh, you know you get the job done. Or bring a friend. You might take a pay cut but you are almost guaranteed to not fail the mission because you have two people there. Another thing, if you have a friend, I know I'm just rambling now, but hey, we got downtime, so we're here to ramble. If you bring a friend, what if one of you guys shoot a security guard? Then you failed the mission entirely. There's more there's a there's more odds of you shooting a security guard with a friend there than it's just you. Just because there's two of you. I mean, I'm not saying it's gonna happen, because it doesn't happen that often, especially if you're playing with someone who's uh, pretty efficient, but it could happen. You could shoot a security guard. I might shoot a security guard. Who knows? I will tell you guys what. This is the last time I'm making this video here, though. Uh, I think it's done a good job. Even if I were to fail this final bunker, I think uh, it's got enough content in it to be worthwhile putting an upload on. Uh, but yeah, it, I'm, and I'm having fun doing it. You know, like it's this is fun. It can be stressful. It could be annoying that the game bugs out, but right now we're making money and things are going well, so can't complain too much. Here we are arriving at our third bunker, plopping in right down in the center here. And a little plop. There's a gun right there. <laughs> Remember, do as I say, not as I do. As you see, I've been dropping my ramp to my Pisces and leaving it open and going in the bunker. Close your door, guys. Don't be like me and leave it open. I just got an 890 stolen from me, okay? I should be closing my doors. <laughs> oh, hello gun that I clearly swapped out of. Hello gun that I'm supposed to be holding, with not very much ammo left. So we probably will have to swap to the uh, other gun here. We'll go ahead and put that clip on our on our body so that we can swap over to it. This will be a little bit more of a risky bunker because it looks like we're running out of bullets for our silence gun. So silencers do help out. Just just uh, FYI, silencers do help out quite a bit. We have entered the site, and the 60 second timer has not popped up. That's not a good sign. This could be the end of the video. It, it may, may, may not be. Who knows? Um, we don't have any of the other missions popped up. To continue on on a different site. So, I don't know what's up with this. Is the server dying? What's the case? Is it the server's fault? Is it my fault for having it accepted for 30 minutes and then now finally showing up? There's lots of different situations. Maybe the actual thing is working, we just can't see that it's working. Seeing that my gun was not staying in my hand, it might be a server situation. We're gonna untrack, track again. Nothing helped. We're gonna go up the elevator, back down the elevator, see if that helps. There it is, boom. Okay, we're in business. We're in business, all right. 
This is Star Citizen, guys, and I'm okay with it. So, this looks in. This is looking like the uh, upper stage bunker. So we are going to camp that elevator. But as you can see, there is an ally inside of that elevator, so there will not be any spawning enemies in that elevator. So here is a green box. I like to loot these sometimes because they got the tiger claws in them, and I like my tiger claws. They also sometimes have multi-tools with tractor beams and all that, but I have plenty of those. So I'm not even going to bother. I said I don't, I'm tired of cluttering up my inventory. We might have an inventory wipe eventually upcoming, so... Uh, I'm not going to clutter up my inventory when it's unnecessary. So there, over there, I'm going to go over here and camp this. Never mind, there's a guy in there, so there will not be a spawn in that elevator. There will not be a spawn in that elevator. Moving on to the next elevator, which is the mid-floor one. And boom. Let's see if they spawn in. There we go. Elevator open. Four spawned in. Two for one special. More two for one specials. We like that. We like that. That was beautiful. Excuse me, sir. You're a big guy. I appreciate you defending and doing your job, but you're a big guy. Please get out of my way. Thank you. Okay. Next. We check the lower platforms. Uh, enemy spawning here. No. So that means they that means they spawned over here. Boom. There's a guy there. Oh, missed him. Got him. Down to the final hostile, waiting for the target marker to appear before I move because he could be teleporting around. Don't need it. There he is. We don't have a shot. They like to hang at that corner. They really do. Ah, wasting ammo. But we got him. We're running really low on ammo. We need to make sure that we find a P4 guy. Actually, we don't need the P4. We have the, we have the, we have the, uh, we have enough ammo. On us, we have enough ammo. We have plenty. This is the loop. I'm making that money. Did we see any boxes? You know, we are supposed to be looting in between our rounds. Sometimes there's boxes there. There's no box there. Sometimes there's a box right here. There's no box there. Sometimes there's a box right here. There's no box there. Sometimes there's a box over there. The only other place that there may be a box is in the server room, and we don't bother going to the server room until we have to go to the server room, because it's just out of the way. Let's recheck our elevator situation. There are still allies in that elevator, so there will not be a spawn in that elevator. It looks like there's still allies in that elevator, so there will not be a spawn in that elevator. Therefore, they will spawn in the elevator in the mid-floor, again, or down below. So here we are, waiting for them to spawn in that elevator. They do. Be careful. Take our shot. There was just one guy. Currently only one guy. Make sure there's not a late spawn. Looks okay. Alright. So now we're going to come down here, we'll post up here, I'm going to check here, there is some enemy spawning there, boom, got him, I'm going to go ahead and cover the rest of that row, it was just him, okay, so then we're going to search down here, interesting, do they all spawn in the server room, there's some more, Bam, man down. Boom. Okay, all right. We're on our final good clip, it seems. Yep, final good clip. This is the clear hostiles defense site one. So it's the waves. There's three waves, and they're all three waves are six people. So it's always going to be the final guy showing the target marker. Can be a bit risky to come out here and get him, but he's looking the wrong way. And you know, we got rid of him. Alright, so now we're down to the final wave of maybe the final part of this video to show the rotation. Um, so 
far so good. After this, we'll return to the 890 and see that it is stolen. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody stole the 890. I don't know how they got in it. I left it in an armistice zone. But... This is Crusader. So, again, checking out the situation. There's still a guy in that elevator, so... But he's a little bit on the edge there. Hopefully, that still means no one's going to spawn there. And there's still a guy in that elevator, 100%. So I don't think we'll get any guys popping in over there. We're going to go ahead and swap to the S71 here for the final wave so we don't have to worry about ammo. The guy has left my 890. Where am I going? <laughs> I got distracted by the gun not being in my hand. Okay. So here we are just waiting for this elevator to open up. You see what I mean with this gun? Alright. Uh, we're gonna have to find a P4 on the ground because my armor is being silly. Okay, so here we go. P4, grab. And I'm actually gonna do a quick swap here. This is my favorite scope. We're gonna drop that. We're gonna pull back out the S71. And we're gonna change scopes. Boom. Fix that problem. If it will render in. Come on, game. No? Alright, we don't need a scope. We don't need scopes. Okay, it's there. <laughs> Alright, boom. He's down. Here, see if there's any more in this elevator. Nope, none. Okay. There's one. Actually, quite a few. Uh, did we get multiple there? Maybe. More two for one specials? Question is, where did that other guy go? He seemed angry that we shot. Okay, got him down. Okay, got him down. Final guy. Gonna run for safety. We have no idea. We have no eyes on the final guy. He's probably back in the server room. Oh, hello. He died. And he's down. All right. Wonderful. More money in the bank. We're making cash. Things are fantastic. Awesome. Objective complete. More money in the bank. And that's how it's done. That is the loop for making cash doing bunkers. You can repeat the loop and make more money. That took us 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes if you count the time of traveling to get to the very first bunker. But uh, yeah, that's how it's done. I'm going to check my missions now in just a second here to see if the loop has restarted. I'm guessing with the server lag it probably hasn't. But that's the loop. A little bit of contracts. Look in the mercenaries. The loop has not started over again. By this time, if you're on a good server, hopefully it has. But it has not for me. So that's going to be the end of this. Let's go back to where we left our 890 and see if it's completely gone or if it's blown up what the situation is. You gotta have some kind of shenanigans in the video, right? And the shenanigans not only is, you know, teleporting enemies and things like that, but I may have lost an 890. I didn't have too much in it. It's okay. It's just frustrating. Uh, I should have left it in space. It was silly of me to leave it on the ground, especially on Daymar. I'm pretty sure I left it on Daymar here. But, uh, why not? It <laughs> it adds a little bit of extra to the video here. Um, we didn't leave it at Shibin, we left it at Arc. We left it at the Arc Corp Mining. And we left it there. Arc Corp Mining 141. We'll go check it out. 
So a little bit of uh, ending evaluations quantum on the bunkers. On. We'll talk about that right now as soon as the quantum drive starts sticking process. Okay, so we did three bunkers. We did a 90K, 75K, and a 60K, which with that calculations, you know, just on the money rewards from the bunker alone, 90K, 60K is 150K, and then another 70K on top of that makes it 225K just from the bunker rewards alone. Plus, I probably killed quite a few enemies. And uh, I don't know exactly how many we killed, but I know we killed quite a few. So we made over 200 in, I want to say we made about 250,000 for that three bunker run. 250,000 for a three bunker run took about 45 minutes. And uh, that's what I'm going to go with. That's going to be the title of the video is making probably 250,000 in a bunker rotation, max level bunkers. Clearly not better than my bounty hunting videos, but if you're a person who doesn't like to do ship combat and likes to do pew pew ground bunker missions, then that is how it is. So clearly my 890 is not here at the location I left it at. So it is gone. That's wonderful. No big deal. I left it on the edge. I want to know how they got in. That's what I'm curious about is how they got into the 90. And I will ask about it in chat. And I may leave a comment if people are interested to know what happened to it. Hey, homie in a Reliant Core. That's cool. I know who took it. So that's not a question. Like I know the name of the person who took it. Anyways, um, that's going to be the end of this one. Nice bunkers. I didn't do any third person fun, but uh, you know, this was about efficiency and things like that. So. That was my bunker run. We made about 250k in 45 minutes, and we had a good fun time. We were pretty safe about it. We were efficient about it. Let's check one last time if new missions have popped up just for funsies. How about that? And not yet. Okay, so that is my bunker rotation, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. If you have any other ideas or any advice on it, leave it down below. Again, that was without looting. We're not making money on looting. That was just straight cash we made from the bunkers of killing people and the bunker rewards. So about 250k for three back-to-back -back max level bunkers. And uh, that's, that's how it's done. Uh, leave a comment below. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that alert bell for those alerts. Every, uh, every single day there's a video coming out at 10 a.m., so check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. All the support is, is, is very important to me. I, I appreciate every single one of you guys. It's been so much fun this last two weeks of just growing like crazy. Thank you guys so much. Uh, this has uh, been a video here with Astro Manny, and I'm signing off. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and adios.